The silver-spotted skipper is relatively large for a skipper having a wingspan of one and three-quarter inches to two and a half inches. The wings are chocolate brown with yellowish gold spots on the upper wing and a metallic silver or white spot on the under underside of the hind wing, which gives it the name. They also have a white wing fringe. The males have two long black marks in the middle of the forewings. They have large eyes and short antenna with clubbed ends. They have a swift, bouncing, erratic flight and are usually seen singly. Their habitat is along streams, forest edges, fields, swamps, brushy areas, and prairies, as well as gardens, and can be found in all parts of the United States and most of North America, mostly from June to August. The skipper feeds on a wide variety of flowers. They seem to like red, pink, and purple flowers over yellow, and frequent blue mealy sage, blazing stars, anise, hip, hyssop, and thistles, as well as favorites like sweet pea, milkweed, and red clover. She will lay single green eggs on or near host plants like black locust, honey locust, false indigo bush, lead plant, partridge pea, and wisteria. Like most other skippers, the larvae live in leaf shelters. They'll cut a leaf and fold it and then tie it down with silk threads, only leaving at night and on cloudy days to feed. As they grow, they build new shelters using several leaves. If disturbed, they will regurgitate a bitter-tasting chemical to repel predators, but are still often taken by wasps. The larvae have smooth skin, yellowish-green segmented bodies with narrow, darker green bands and bright orange prolegs and dark, reddish-brown heads. As they progress to older instars, they change. The older ones have two orange or yellow dots on the head that look like eyes to scare off predators. They'll grow up to two inches long. They overwinter. They will emerge in spring when the plants start growing again to mate and lay more eggs.